This video is to demonstrate the servicing of the check valve assembly on a Pulsatron C Plus pump. What you see in front of you, this item is the pump head that has been removed from the pump. This is for the video purposes only. Normally you would leave this on the pump. This is the upper check valve. This is the lower check valve. This is the five function valve. This is the bleed port on the five function valve. This is the discharge on the five function valve. Tubing will be attached to both of these when it's on the pump and installed. You remove the tubing from both of these locations. And then what you can do is spin the five function valve off. Then you remove the check valve. I'm only going to do the top check valve. You do the same thing to the bottom check valve. What you want to notice on the check valves is that there is an arrow, and the arrow points in this direction, and you notice on the bottom one you have an arrow that points in the same direction. Also on the head itself, you will see that there's an arrow there that points in the direction of the flow. Once you have the assembly off the head, what you want to do is remove the O-ring. If the O-ring is not there, you can check inside the head. The O-ring will be in this position inside the head. Take it out of there so you can have it to put back on the check valve when you reassemble it. The piece that you're going to take apart is this piece right here. The simplest way to remove that piece is to take a utility knife with a sharp blade, lay it down on the shoulder, make sure to keep it down on the shoulder. You want to keep this surface free from scratches because that's where the O-ring seats. So you place it down on the shoulder, you twist the O-ring, excuse me, you twist the utility knife a little bit to lift that section that is where the O-ring would normally be placed. It will begin to move out of the uh, hole assembly and then you can insert a rod that will fit in the hole that is part of the connection or where the uh, tubing is connected to the valve. What you do is you push that through. This will come out, which is what holds everything in place. Next you'll have a Teflon seat. Then you'll have the housing that actually holds the ball with another Teflon seat. This is the housing that holds the ball. You remove this flexible rubber-like surface, which is the seat for the ball, and then you remove the ball out of that. What you want to do is clean the ball rinse any debris out of here, rinse everything off the ball. This is where your problem usually on a, a pump that's not pumping and has been tried to be and you've tried to bleed the pump and it's not working. It's usually the ball seat. You want to do this on both ends of the pump. You want to check to make sure this seat is fine here. If you see deterioration around this hole here and or when you wipe it you will get some black off. It means it has started to deteriorate and you'll have to replace the whole assembly. Otherwise, all you'll need to do is clean it, which is what we're doing here. You reassemble it. Notice there's a shoulder on this uh, seat, so you want to make sure the shoulder goes up next to the check valve. You also notice on the check valve, there is also an arrow right here. It's pointing in the direction of the flow. So when you go to put it back into the assembly, you want this arrow on this unit to point the same direction as the arrow on the housing. Place the Teflon seat on top push it up in the housing, insert Teflon seat on the bottom, reinsert the plug that holds everything in there, push it down all the way, put the O-ring on, reattach it to the head. You're going to do the same thing to the bottom and then you'll be done.